And the Northern Tablelands Local Land Services Research and Education Award goes to Backtrack Youth Works. Backtrack Youth Works. Backtrack Youth Works provides an innovative interventionalist and alternative education and training pathway for marginalised and disadvantaged youth. Today, Backtrack operates full-time, with a modest proportion of funding being government-derived. Among the recent innovations are Backtrack School, its engagement with researchers to further understandings of alternative educational approaches, and the level of collaborations and partnerships that make Backtrack possible, and even lead to additional income streams. Innovative programs like Paws Up, which sees participants training working dogs to high jump, teaching them life lessons while building respect for themselves and others. The Backtrack School now teaches literacy and numeracy, while Ag Lads and Iron Man Welders show participants the rewards of working on tangible products as they gain certified qualifications in agriculture and metal fabrication. Over 500 youths have participated in Backtrack programs and 87% of them have gone on to employment, further education or training. After recognising the potential of research to influence government policy, Backtrack negotiated partnerships with researchers from the National Drug and Alcohol Research Council, the NDARC, at the University of New South Wales, the University of New England and the Hunter Medical Research Institute, the HMRI. Backtrack research has resulted in the world's first evaluation of the economic benefits of a community-based, multi-component intervention for disadvantaged young people and created the world's first model of integration of research into the routine intake and review procedures used for participants. What we do is really, really simple stuff. Uh, we work with kids that are having a tough time. Um, <clears throat> And we find solutions, you know, we do that through agriculture, through welding. We run our organisation like a business. Uh, we receive only tiny amounts of government funding. Uh, gives us the flexibility um, to do what matters, the same as what we um, do as parents. For anyone that's got kids, uh, you just do what you've got to do. Uh, and if something's not working, then you change it. That's what we do. We've been going uh, for 10 years. We started off as a volunteer organisation. Uh, we're not experts. Um, there's not a youth worker amongst us that's actually done formal training. What we do is we work with kids who are having a hard time. Uh, there's no limits and there's no excuses uh, for what we do. Uh, I'm really proud to be here uh, and I thank your organisation for um, providing the opportunity. It's a lovely way to be thanked. Uh, we don't often hear that. We're going to keep going and we're helping a lot of other communities. Um, the thing that I really excites me into the future with helping other organisations is we spend millions and millions and millions of dollars all around the world working with kids at risk. Nobody evaluates that stuff properly. Uh, the University in New England, we've got four universities looking at what we do. We do it in every other aspect of uh, business and employment and with what we do. And we don't do it in, in our field, and where we do do it, we do it bloody poorly. Um, it's it's going to put us on the map, and in the next um, year or so, there are going to um, be a lot of published papers over what we do. Uh, our dream is as simple as this. If, if we have a mission statement, it comes down to helping kids who are having a hard time and helping as many as we can. It's an honour to be here tonight, uh, and thanks so much, guys, uh, for standing, you know, I'm up here with us, and um, I appreciate that, and um, we look forward to uh, looking after young fellows who are having a hard time. <laughs>